Welcome to today's video. Look what I have here for you. This is my potato yogurt facial cream. Now this cream can be used as an overnight cream and it also can be used as a facial mask. You can also use this as an exfoliating cream. Now what is this cream going to do for you? This is a wonderful spot remover cream. If you're looking for clear skin, if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation on your skin, especially on your face, this is going to work wonders. This is also great for getting rid of acne scars. It's also great for getting rid of burn mark. It's great for getting rid of old scars. You name it. You just have to use it on a regular. Now I use some wonderful ingredients in this that are known to help to lighten and brighten the skin the potato and the yogurt along with a few other ingredients is gonna do wonder for your skin so if you're interested in my wonderful potato yogurt cream come with me and I'll show you how to make this it's pretty easy and it's pretty quick okay our first ingredient is potato and the potato is known to get rid of hyperpigmentation from the skin if you have dark patches blemishes acne scars old scars, any form of a scars with continuous use of the potato, it will help to lighten those scars and patches. Our second ingredient is yogurt and yogurt have lactic acid. Yogurt can help to tighten the skin. Not only will it help to tighten the skin, but it will help to brighten and lighten the skin also. Therefore, it's going to help to get rid of dark patches and hyperpigmentation from the skin. Our next ingredient is vitamin E oil and this is 500 IU vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is known to help with wrinkles and fine lines and when combined with other ingredients such as the potato and the yogurt is going to help to get rid of hyperpigmentation from the skin. Our next ingredient is honey and honey is known to moisturize the skin. It could help to tighten the skin. It also is great for getting rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. It is also good for getting rid of acne scars. You're also going to need a blender for this recipe. Now the first thing we're going to do with our potato we're gonna boil our potato and we're not gonna peel the potato we're gonna boil it in the skin so I'm gonna put my potato in a regular saucepan fill it up with water make sure the potato is completely covered with the water and then you're gonna put it on to boil and you're gonna boil this for about 15 minutes or so until this is a little tender to the touch not soft and squishy but just tender to the touch now here is the potato after boiling and you want to make sure to put it aside to cool. Once it is cooled, it is ready to use. For this potato for today, I'm just going to use a half of it. And this is what it looks like when you boil it. Now as you can see, it's not completely cooked and this is the way you want it. You don't want to boil out all the nutrients from it. Once this is done, you're going to peel. And it's very easy once it's boiled. You could just use your hands like this to remove the outer peel or you could choose to peel it. Now once the potato is peeled, I'm going to chop it for blending. We're going to add this to the blender and we're going to blend. Let's scrape this out and as you can see our gummy that's the way you want it to be so here is our potato you could see our creamy it's a little stiff because you know we didn't boil it for too long and this is exactly how we want it to be now this is about three tablespoons of our blended potato Next, we're going to add 
three tablespoons of yogurt to our potato. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And we're gonna add two teaspoons of honey. And we're gonna blend this together. You can choose to put this back in the blender or you can choose to just blend it like I'm doing here. So just blend. You can see how creamy. Is it? Now here we have our potato yogurt cream and take a look at this. This is what it looks like. Now you can choose to use this wherever you have spots and blemishes, burnt mark, acne scars. Just use this anywhere on your body. However, today I'm going to demonstrate this on my face. So I'm just going to take up a bit. I'm going to use my hands to apply because it spread much easier. So I'm going to take a little and I'm just going to put it on my face like this. Just rub it in, just as if you're rubbing a cream. So just massage it into the skin. Next side. Just like you're using a soap. And it has a really nice smell. You could smell the honey in it. Now notice when you're rubbing, and don't be afraid to use this underneath your eyes. Now once your face is completely covered with this, you massage it into the skin, keep massaging it. As I said, just like you're washing your face with soap, massage it on the skin. We want to do this for about a minute or so. And then you're going to leave it on the skin. You're going to leave it for about 30 minutes or more. If you have time, go longer. Also, you can choose to use this overnight, but if you're going to use it overnight, you got to apply just a little top and let me demonstrate on my hands. So you put a little on your skin, not a lot, and you just blend it out into the skin. As you can see, it could blend in the skin. See? This is what it looks like when it blend in the skin. However, this is gonna dry on the skin somewhat. So just take a look. This is what I just applied to and this is my other. And you can see the difference right away. So just use it at night if you want to. Massage it into the skin and you leave it there. So that's how you use it overnight. Now for daytime facial mask, you apply it the way I just showed you and you leave it on your skin for the least is 30 minutes, okay? And remember, you could apply this to wherever you have hyperpigmentation on the skin. Now, after wearing this on your face for 30 minutes, you're gonna come back, you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna further massage it in the skin. Now, if you put a very thin layer, it's gonna totally disappear in the skin. But because I'm wearing it as a facial mask and I use a lot, you can see what is happening. But with continuous rubbing of it, it is slowly disappearing in the skin. And let me come up close to show you guys. You could see that. You could see how it is light in my skin after wearing it for just 30 minutes, all right? Now, I'm gonna rinse this off and I will be back. 
Now after rinsing, take a look how refresh and clean and clear my skin is. My skin is not only looking refreshed, but it's feeling very soft and very supple. Now store this in your refrigerator for about seven days. You can also add some vegetable glycerin to it to keep it a little longer. Use it as often as you wish for best no. results. So there you have it. Go and try this recipe. Come back and leave your comments. Those are always welcome and if this was your first time watching you want to see more of these videos a quick way to do that is to subscribe look below you're gonna see the word subscribe click on it and you will be subscribed also at the side of the word subscribe there's a little bell if you click on that you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video thank you all for watching go try this wonderful potato yogurt facial mask and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video Bye-bye.